Real walking experiences using realistic VR displays provide a natural user experience. A variety of techniques, such as redirected walking, physical props, and space manipulation, have been proposed to allow users to walk through large virtual scenes. However, the redirected walking techniques suffer from the problem of interrupting the user with reset modes. Recently, Sun et al. 2016 proposed a warped space method to map virtual scenes onto real workspaces, which provides a continuous real walking experience without any interruptions. However, for the large-scale scene, the method may produce maps with substantially large distortions and result in unacceptable visual artifacts. We propose a divide-and-conquer method to map arbitrarily large virtual scenes into a given real workspace. Given an input scene, we decompose it into a set of patches, which are grouped into a collection of super patches. First, we map one super patch into the real workspace by minimizing its isometric distortion. Then we map the second one in the workspace while maintaining smoothness with the first map. Similarly, the other super patches are mapped into the workspace one by one and assembled onto the existing map with smoothness constraints, as shown here. After all the maps are computed and assembled, a global optimization is performed on the map. We test our method by mapping six different virtual scenes of varying sizes onto a real workspace. Here we show the same participant navigating the six scenes. It can be seen that the rendered images for different scenes look very similar. We conduct a user study with 30 participants in each experiment. This shows how the participants walk through the real workspaces without bumping into the chairs as interior obstacles. Here we show that one participant is navigating a large scene with two layers. This shows that the participant reaches a teleporter between two regions. Here we show that the participant reaches a teleporter between two layers. We compare our method with the steer to center. We design two tasks for user studies with 30 participants. The first task is to ask participants to walk through a prescribed path in the virtual scene. The second task is to ask participants to play a game by walking through a prescribed path while being chased by a scary wolf. If he is caught by the wolf, he loses the game. Due to the reset processing, only one participant wins the game using the S2C method, while 28 participants win the game using our method. We compare our method with Swin et al. 2016 by mapping the same virtual scene we can see that the scene is severely distorted, as shown in the red circles. Here is another comparison using a different virtual scene. Here, a participant is navigating the same virtual scene. Finally, we design two games as applications of our method. In this game, the participants are asked to find their way from the entrance to the exit in a maze. In this game, the participants are asked to grasp the virtual boxes within a fixed time. In summary, our method provides a practically efficient and feasible method for mapping arbitrarily large virtual scenes into real workspaces. Thank you.